This is... This seems fine. Okay. It's not, like, great, but it's... I is feel this guy like playing, or what? Yeah. Yeah, I think on the draw this is okay. Yeah. Bulletproof tigers. He's more than one tiger. And cannot be affected by bullets. That's a powerful animal. I've heard that about tigers, that it can't be affected by bullets. Neonate. That's unfortunate. Well, it's gonna trade with this. Yeah. After a while. Well, not after if, a while. If but. possible. That doesn't seem awful. You gonna attack into my Snapcaster? He's doing it. He's, He's doing got it. to. He's got to. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a snapcaster. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a downside of that strategy. See, he doesn't have a follow up? That's crazy. I wouldn't have kept his hand. Oh, we can trade with a Selhoff occultist. That's good. Or would you rather trade with a scarecrow? I think I'd rather trade with a scarecrow. Like, what is he gonna have? A moon heron or something? Hmm. That seems fine, and also it's good because it puts something in the graveyard for your makeshift mauler next turn. Yeah. Well, either one would. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, but like, I'm just saying, his neonate wasn't the worst. Deal you two damage, and uh, gets you a dude to stitch into a larger dude. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's thinking of removing my scarecrow. <clears throat> he's probably thinking about it. Yep, oh, he's doing it. Now he's crossway vampiring. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's funny. Good I thing I didn't play this it. guy, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Jig. What yeah. a poor man's crossway vampire. Yeah. So. You can just play Selhoff Occultist and then you can block it. Maybe you'll draw like a Silent Departure and then just render this all moot. Maybe. Well, that's good too. Yeah. Make sure you don't mill your Burning Vengeance like I always do. Because <laughs> that makes me sad gonna mill like three mountains and see just like never how cast good would that freaking equipment be right now pretty good yeah <laughs> and like the runic repetition is really good too because then you don't have to worry about flashing them out of your graveyard yeah could potentially blow you out here, but it's like... But yeah. I don't even care, because like, I want my guys to die so that I can have a larger man. Yeah. Man, Moto. Moto. Isn't there a button for like, just auto-stacking stuff? I'm not sure. Oh, I think there is. Silent Departure. Good. Oh man. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Whoa. What is even happening? Moon Heron. Okay. Seems fine. Burning Vengeance. No, Brimstone Wally. Oh, okay. What else did you mill? Armored Scab and a. Yeah. Think twice. That's good. It's just a tutu now. <laughs> See? Yeah. I love Scarecrow. I like him more than I should. Yeah. But he's good. He's very I, I just I really like him in this archetype. I I know I like him more than I should, but mm -hmm. I just I really like him in this archetype. Because all your guys are ground guys. Like all your walls I mean. 
and he serves the purpose of kind of being a, an air wall. Yeah, sort of. Of course, I like to play multiples of him, though. <laughs> You're just crazy. I'm just insane. <laughs> if you have two of them out, all their chapel geists are very sad. Just as sad as your defender. Well, that's fine. I'm usually doing other things. Yeah. No, like, I know what you mean. It's yeah. correct. But if you have two of them out, it just, like, shuts down, like, six of their cards. Oh, no. Is something going into the Maw of Hell? Nope. Nope. You'd think oh, that. What? Oh. Oh. Man, this guy can never tap his mana right. Okay. Okay. Well. I think I want to... Flash think back, twice. think twice, try to get up a mountain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a mountain. He's nothing like a mountain, and you know it. So, I can't attack him, huh? No. Alright. Should well, I even you, play this guy? Because he's going to die to the pitch burn devils. I guess that's better than the Scarecrow dying at this point, really. Yeah. I mean, you could just offer up the trade. Uh, it's probably to leave him. Probably better to leave him back, though. Yeah, especially at this point. Yeah. Terran is killing me. Slowly. Oh, Slower. Next turn, I can return it to his hand. Which will be great, since he's sacrificing his guys. I don't know if he's actually... Yeah, he did. Interesting. That's kind of cool. He's dealing you the damage? Yeah. That seems... Short-sighted, but okay. I mean, maybe he's got burn? Yeah. I mean, he's getting you down to four. But that's not, like, the critical number, so... Nope. I wonder if he forgot about my departure. Because this seems really bad right now. Yeah, who knows? Or maybe he's just got me dead. Who knows? I think I have to depart his guy. Yeah. Right. And think I attack here or no? Because I only have one silent departure in the deck. Yeah. So I think I just attack him. Um, one, two, three. Well, I think you leave back the deranged assistance. So you can flash back. Uh, Dream Twist, right? One, two, three. Oh. No, you don't have enough for that. Yeah, just swing. No, I could flash back Silent Departure and then have Blue open for Dream Twist. Oh no, it's a flashback too. Yeah, that's okay. why. Although you could just mill. Yeah, well, whatever. Well, I don't think it's super worth it. Yeah, like, and you can Runic Repetition for it. If he replays it. And bounce it again. You're in good shape. Right, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because, like, if that moon... Ha if he doesn't have two plays, then you can just... That's, like, game at that point. What? I'm guessing he oh, has... Oh, Blasphemous Act? Oh, what? Oh, Scout <coughs> Goliath. Okay. Well, that's funny. That's great. Yeah, it is. Man, that runic repetition is just getting you the game. Hopefully. Oh, oh, and look, you got too. that, too. Alright, so... Well, this is an instant, so yep. I can just do that. Alright. Yep. You have to choose your... Yeah, I know I'm... Whoop. Wrong pile. Man. I apologize, Runic Repetition. You are... You're doing it. Okay, so he has a moon heron and that giant uncastable oh, I thing. I should have kept this guy up for a thing twice. No, I think that's fine. Oh yeah, because I can desperate ravens, yeah. which is the same thing. And also, like, you want to be dealing him five. Right. What now? Bulletproof tigers. Oh, it's a hound that you can geist flame. Yep. Um, should I just kill it now? 
Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Is, he no, you wanna you wanna kill it. He can't equip in response. Actually, but if I draw a mountain, then I can double Geist Flame his Moon Heron in response to him equipping. And actually, I might draw a mountain with the Desperate Ravings. Okay. But you but also then might, I discard might discard your discard Geist, the Geist Flame. I don't know. What do you think? Um. <coughs> I think that you should... I think you should Geist Flame his Hound, because mm -hmm. then you can... Like, swing into his Moon Heron, he won't block. Oh, also, I can just bounce his Moon Heron. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Also. Or, so you can just win the game, basically. Yeah, basically. Flashback your Think Twice, I guess. Swing for five. You can, like, mm. open up your graveyard so you can see it better. Seems good. And look at the guy that bought you the time. One-eyed scarecrow. <laughs> he's probably sitting there with, like, a brimstone volley in his hand, and he's so upset. He's winking with his one eye. You thought it was blinking, but he's winking. Yeah. <laughs> Dissipate seems good against him, given his giant man. Yeah, Silent Departure seems good against him. Well, yeah, super good. Giving, given his giant man. Given his giant man. Um, I guess you could side out a pike? Hmm. <laughs> But, like, who wants to side out a pike? Pike is pretty good. <laughs> we haven't even gotten it yet. I think Skurz that Cultist is actually not super special. He's not, but you know what? Like, I would rather have another creature that can attack. And, like, especially if he's trying to equip things to yeah. his X2 flyer, you know? Yeah, that's true. Armored Scab is kind of... No, he's got Neonates. Yeah. Armored Scab is a good man. Galvanic Juggernaut? I mean, this is just... He's just a... Like, this is a tempo aggro kind of deck, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what Galvanic Juggernaut is good in, too, so... Yeah. Um... And, like, you need Dream Twist. You don't want to take out something with Flashback. Um... Huh. Well, this kind of doesn't have Flashback. Yeah, but it's also... But it's very good. <laughs> yeah. Um... Brimstone Volley is obviously really good. Is it crazy to think I should board out the Scarecrow? That Scarecrow that helped you win the match? The game? The game? <laughs> who could help you win the match? He could. I'm if just you not only sure. gave him a chance... I know. I mean, I mean, yeah, if you want to take him out, take him out. You're the pilot here. Yeah. With 50 seconds left. I don't know what else he has beyond Moon Heron. He didn't really play that many spells. Yeah. I think I want Dissipate against him. Maybe the Scarecrow is not the card to take out, though. Maybe it's something expensive. Oh, maybe you want to put an Ironsmith. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Um. And then take out... Like, I know the Juggernaut's good, it's just, I don't know if you need it. I think I need thing. it. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, I... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay. 